Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation of Pamela Reed's theory of self-transcendence. Let's go to the model. The nurse's role in caring for an anxious patient with diabetes using self-transcendence. Uh, trans self-transcendence is the capacity to expand self-boundaries in a meaningful and innovative way so that the client gets to well-being. Let's look at the model. There are three concepts of related to self-transcendence. The first one is self-transcendence itself. The second at the bottom is vulnerability. And the third on the other side at the bottom is well-being. A person becomes vulnerable when there a serious chronic illness, as in the case of my patient who is diabetic, uh, ha ha has lost a limb, and which is a disability. The role of the nurse is that of facilitator. In this theory, the nurse takes time out to speak with the patient, speak to the family, teach the parents and teach the family, encourage them to voice any concerns. And all of this is done with respect and maintaining the dignity of the patient and family. Self-transcendence is not what a lot of people think it is, at least in nursing. In nursing, the nurse is responsible for facilitating the process of self-transcendence. There is nothing mystical or supernatural about the use of self-transcendence to, to help the patient achieve wellness. From vulnerability, the patient goes next to self-transcendence. And there are four approaches to achieve self-transcendence. First one is the transpersonal approach. The second is the interpersonal approach. The third, the intrapersonal approach. And the fourth one is the temporal approach. These I will discuss further on the next side. Once the client leaves self-transcendence, they now go to a sense of well-being. And in this area, you have uh, a sense of meaning in life. Uh, the person who was not involved in their care, for example, now becomes very involved. Uh, the person with despair uh, develops more hope and have a different outlook of, on life. Their morale goes up, life satisfaction is better, and they're basically happy. Let's go to the next slide. As mentioned before, self-transcendence is the capacity to expand self-boundaries in various innovative and meaningful ways that enhances one's self, self, one's well-being. It is a nursing process. And again, the focus is to facilitate the process for the purpose of supporting and enhancing the patient's well-being, regardless of what health problem they may have at that time. There, is, there are two assumptions. The first assumption is individuals possess the potential to, for innovative healing and well-being throughout their lifespan. Another assumption of the theory is that humans are open systems. And as an open system, interacting with other open systems, it leads to a sense of identi identity and security. The theory proposes 
that people's capacity for self-transcendence is activated when they face a life-threatening illness or undergo some type of health-related change that intensifies their awareness of their vulnerability and their mortality. There are three concepts as we saw earlier. The first one is self-transcendence. The next is vulnerability, which is an increased sense of personal mortality and well-being, which is a subjective attitude or feeling of health or wholeness. The personal or contextual factors associated with uh, this theory include the age of the person, their gender, their education, their social and spiritual backgrounds, uh, their family relationships, and even other biophysical factors. The meta paradigm of this theory is as follows. Person, this is the individual family or group that is vulnerable and needs to expand their boundaries. Health is the present sense of well-being or wholeness. Environment, that relates to factors that affect the person internally and externally. The nurse, that's the individual who will support the patient and facilitate their process of self-transcendence. Self-transcendence to wellness. The approaches, the first one is the intra personal relationship, which allows a person to look inward and to have a greater awareness of themselves, their values, their goals, their dreams. Then you have the interpersonal approach, which helps the patient to connect with others and their environment. And the nurse-patient relationship is an excellent example of connectedness with the, the patient and the nurse. The next one is transpersonal, which relates to a dimension that is beyond ordinary understanding. And the fourth one is the temporal. And here you have an integration of the past and present that is tied together with the present in order to help the individual find meaning to the present. I like this theory because apart from using conventional methods, self-transcendence gives the patient another opportunity to cope with any type of illness using their own inner strengths. It's not what a lot of people think. There's nobody lying on a couch. Uh, you're not disconnecting yourself from the world, but rather you're connecting, especially in the interpersonal approach, you're connecting with other people in order to gain wellness or sense of well-being. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. The next slide will be references. Thanks.